Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're uh, Yeah, adrenaline was pumping, and I got my, I let my emotions get the best of me, but uh, I apologize to all their fans. And, uh, Indiana has a great crowd. Uh, their fans are terrific, stand within the whole game, and I'm just happy they were here for a great game. What kind of trigger that? It looks like you, the fans were yelling at you or something, you were yelling for them to get up or something, and then also kind of went crazy. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, it's just, I just lost my emotions and uh, can't, can't, couldn't control it. I got to do a better job at that next game. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% reliability isn't good enough, Call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. What, in terms of the comeback you guys made, you, know, you have a big lead, you have, you have a big deficit coming back from it. How, how hard was that when you, when, knowing that you had that big lead and then falling behind? Uh, it, it hurt us a lot uh, in the second half. It came, they came out and felt like they couldn't miss anything. Coach Terry told us just to buckle down, be resilient, making sure that we stick to our defensive principles and play the game to the end. You guys played pretty much a perfect game in those last couple of minutes. Just what does it tell you about this team? To be able to do that on the road with 17,000 screen, people like you. Uh, our team got them. It just shows our team has a tremendous fight. Uh, we never back down from the challenge. Even if we're down, we're going to always try to battle back until that last second of the clock. Um, you guys were just celebrating the prayer. We were told what happened. Uh, it was a hard moment uh, going from the chair to a little down uh, Like I, I lost Kobe, I always looked up to him. He, he was the reason I became a Lakers fan. And just knowing that we lost that type of legend and that type of leadership in this community, in this world, uh, it just hurts a lot. Jalen, did, did you feel like what you guys did at Northwestern was able to carry over here in terms of confidence and being able to play on the road? Uh, yeah, just being more resilient on the road and making sure that we buckle down and treat it as like a home game, make sure that we're just coming out playing our best basketball. In terms of the way you've played, I mean, you had a career high on, on, uh, on Wednesday and you had another career high tonight. You're playing at the highest level. What's the difference? Uh, just a lot more confidence. Uh, a lot more. My team has a lot more trust in me. You know, making sure that I'm always staying positive doing it. On the stretches, if we're down or if we're up, making sure that I'm always focused. What happened on the last play with, with uh, Trace Jackson? What did you see? What were you trying to do? And then the spot into the corner? Uh, I saw that he was trying to get an offensive put back, so I just tried to alter the, alter the, the cover. Well, the way it bounced off the rim, just so that it's time to run off. Did you see the did, did you watch the Michigan State team where they had a shot at the buzzer? You know, they had a shot at the top? Uh, no, no. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Was, was that Wiggins or